Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Well, it is almost back to school time, and when you're doing your back to school supply shopping, don't forget the back to school essential, your library card. Isn't that right? That is correct. With me I have Dawn Foster. She's with the Portage Public Library, uh, which is part of the South Central Library System, one of our news partners. Thanks for yes, joining thank me today. You. To love the library, love talking yes. about the library. Yes. Let's get started with talking about how the, <clears throat> excuse me, the library can help kids prepare for back to school. Okay, well, as we said, you pick up your school supplies, make a visit to the library as well. If you haven't been in over the summer, you're going to see a lot of changes book displays, lots of promotional materials about online information, uh, lots of things that are geared towards kids and their families and getting ready for school. Wonderful. And uh, yeah, we think of books, but there's so much more in the library these days. It's really, really incredible. How about parents? What, what's the library doing for parents okay. and supporting? Again, uh, not just the written materials, but we do have a lot of information on our websites, on the library systems uh, information pages, um, a lot of databases, uh, just a lot of information to gear them towards getting their child ready for school. Like, uh, pick a couple examples of what might be helpful. Okay, well, um, ones that I'm familiar with as a youth librarian is um, the Novelist database, which is a great resource for recommending titles, book titles, and putting series in order. Um, kids love to read series books. They want to start Think with the first too. one <laughs> yes. and read through. And our novelist is a great resource. Lots of reviews, just just full of information. Okay. And for parents, what kind of information do you have that might help them with, with their little ones? Right. Well, again, we also have, we have uh, paper, mag you know, the magazines, the actual paper sources. But again, you can find those online too. Parents are busy, they're standing in line. Uh, they can be using um, any number of online resources to, to read parenting magazines. Okay, very good. Um, with the library, I do think a story hour and yes. the little kids, and now even these days they have dogs in the libraries, yes. kids reading to the dogs. Yes. What about the little bit older kids, the teens and the tweens? Uh, what's going to get them into the library these right. days? We've done a great job um, directing resources uh, for our tweens, 8 to 12 year olds, and, and then the teens. Um, not just books, and again, we have online information that's geared for the technologically savvy, but uh, information on jobs, colleges, um, different things happening in the community that are geared towards the teens. Yeah, I think the more technology you can have, the more you'll yes. get those teens and tweens piquing their interest and yes. maybe getting them through your doors. Yes. That's true. Um, what about just helping people find information? How do you help people find Maybe somebody wants to come in and, and learn about something specific. What do you do to help them? Right. Well, if it's a, a, a child, a school-aged child, um, there's me. <laughs> but we also have a teen librarian now, and uh, we have a staff. We're all trained on, again, technology, um, online resources, the overdrive, uh, downloading books, those kinds of things. Uh, we also direct them to a lot of information boards, a lot of book displays, just uh, something for every kind of learner. Very good. Yes. And, and I do know that the library is really um, a great source with your databases. Yes. And um, it, tell us a little bit more about what those can offer. Right. It well, like it, it's, it's always available 24 7. Um, you're at home, you're at work, you're in the car. Um, it's just, it's always there. I think that that's what has made libraries be the great resource that they are because um, you can access them pretty much anywhere, anytime. Right. There's no uh, library hours for your website. Correct. Correct. And, you know, with the internet, people might say, well, if we can just go to the internet at home. What do we need the library for? But on the internet, well, folks, anybody can publish anything. Anything, they can, right? they can, and that's where you still need your librarian. Um, we can be the authority. We can help direct you to a credible source. Um, so I, I think it's a nice partnership that we work um, in person and online. Sure, and those databases are actually aren't those with researched information and, yes, and credible they are. sources? Yes, very much. That's so. very good to that's know. That's very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a, just a little bit of time left. How are you working with the community in a broader sense? Okay, I, I'm a very visible librarian in my community. Um, I listen to our families, what they are looking for in information and programming. I um, make sure that I have a good uh, rapport with our school district, and I work with homeschool families as well. So. so you're working with the kids, the parents, the teachers. We are. We are. That's good. what makes us successful. Great. Well, I'm glad you're around. So uh, be sure to check out your library and maybe your librarian 
uh, for anything that you're interested in when you need a little help. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town here on CW57.